Um, another trading post. I want one here. I'm not sure. Uh, Why well, it's possible here? I might want to put it there as well. So leaving a lot of space open for houses right next to it because at the trading post there are people working six or even more I don't know how much you can actually um, <coughs> assign there you can check this out later here it's almost done okay um, let's speed this up shall we So early autumn, we have enough firewood. Um, I wonder how it looks like. I have to get this area cleared from all the stone. <coughs> so I think I'm gonna stone collect here. Oh, it's getting colder. That. Oh yeah, the blacksmith. Oh, you can assign the blacksmith again. Oh. Two count is getting down. Four builders, they start building. Oh, we have. Yeah, we don't need one now. I wonder when the first trader is coming. Okay, we might want to. Oh, another sh another woodcutter. Yeah, yeah. We want to crank this up a lot. So we are going for. We need at least 625 to get seats. We want something to spare, so I think I'm gonna go for 250. 1250. It's double as much. I hope the stockpiles are enough for that amount. Oh, good. Um. We might want to add a woodcutter. Yeah, we can add a woodcutter there at the end. But um, I think I'm gonna go for a church. Here. Fits perfectly. Oh, look at that! That oh, I can't believe it. It fits perfect. Oh, didn't plant it that. Fits perfectly. Look at that. So we gonna ah we let them clear it first. Come on guys, five laborers should, should be enough. Tell you a lot of stuff um, regarding the trading post. Once the first trader is arriving, I don't know from which side he will come, but once the first trader comes, I will. Oh, somebody's freezing. Oh, yes, walk a long way. That is not good. They are not clearing now. Oh, there's two things removed. What do we got here? Firewood is low. Yeah. Alright. Cutters, I think. Oh, I need a herbalist. Let's assign a herbalist. So, so. six laborers. Jesus Christ! I need a school. Oh no, no, no! I don't, I don't go for schools until I reach 300, so that I get the the achievement uneducated. I think that is good enough. Oh, a labor died during childbirth. Oh, <coughs> God! That early. Damn it. 
and I don't have a graveyard yet. I always build a graveyard around year 10. Ah. Usually I don't have any death. Any death. Um, until year 10, 11, 12. Because I usually take good care of my people, but you can't anticipate that. Oh, crap. And it's... That's the most terrible thing that can happen to a human being, actually. And... Um... Especially in this game, because you have a laborer less and a shard more. That isn't doing anything. Oh my god! It's like a disease! Another one! Are you kidding me? This is just like spring in the... Yeah, oh god! What is wrong with you guys? I mean, Shire Birth was a little tricky back on that time, but Jesus, so many taps. Look at the labor count. Labor count. I don't know. Just clear the area, guys. There's still 13 things on it. I want to think about storing something there. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, the speed is at ten. Oh, times ten. Jesus Christ. Built the damn things here, man. Oh, they're bringing all the stuff here first. Let's pause this. Oh, pause it. Let's have the other stuff built first. This is... More important, guys. Oh, I didn't pay attention. I was talking too much. That's that is the the thing with the let's plays and talking. You know, you 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 keep on talking and trying to explain this and that, and ah, then you forget about you know adjusting and tweaking things, and then you end up having deaths like that. I don't know. I don't know what triggers this. Any, th there's got to be something that triggers this, um, because you know, a game is based on algorithms. So something triggers this. I don't know what. Maybe it's working too well, and the game says, "Oh no, 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 no! You're doing too good." How about this? Huh? How do you think about this? Oh, it's nothing. Another one. So, oh, we hit the cap. So. We give them uh, another assignment, which is labor work. Okay, they start and build this and that. And I want two more houses right there. Oh, didn't pay attention there as well. Okay, let's remove that road piece. Don't need it. And um, let's place two more houses there. Okay. Now we go... Um, okay. No trader yet. Let's decrease the speed a bit. Uh, because I want to just make this right. I have three gatherers now. Or gatherer huts. Um, so we want two at each gather a heart. This isn't built yet. It's gonna be built soon. Um, we have enough labor. Um, oh, they cleared it. Oh, well, they already got the stone stuff there. So what's the radius on that? And the radius on that. Oh, well, there's space for a woodcutter. So I think about a placing a woodcutter there. And maybe another tailor later. There. That's enough space. The hunter, yeah. The hunter the the hunter's radius is bigger than the, the forest lodge radius or the gatherer's radius. So in, in fact this is the largest radius um in the forest cluster. Um just for information, alright? 
Um, so, um, okay. I have three foresters as well. I want two in there, yeah, so this is an ex yeah, that's good as well. Um, this is going to be built, the maximum number is always three with one uh, cabin. So you have to keep that in mind. So if I want two everywhere, I have two, th two thirds of the total number uh, adjusted there. Where is the hunter anyway? There is the hunter, so we want two hunter more assigned to this. So we already do this. Then we unpause. Now we let them build these first and then we unpause this. And um, I hope they, they use the road here. <laughs> um, and we don't have a lot of stone. You know, you go through stone a fast here. And we might want to clear the area from all of that iron. And there's some stone left. Wow. How did I miss that? Um, oh, there's some more stone. Let's get that stone here. There's so much iron lying around here. Maybe get some stone from here as well. We need the stone. Oh, there's the trader. Now, now it's getting interesting. So we are going to get one. No, that's wrong. That's right. So now, something you might not know. I figured that out pretty fast. This guy is coming down the river and docks here. What you want to do, if you see him coming, you want to pause the game. And you want to save the game. And then you um, resume the game and you let him dock. Alright? Then you take a look at what he has to offer. And if there's nothing you want, you just load. Reload or load, I don't know what you say to it. Um, um, this, this save file you just made. So you can have him dock again. And every time his his inventory, so what he got to offer, is changed. So you can actually do it as often as you want, or as often as for him to offer you what you want. Like I'd like to have sheep. All right. So I just go and save this file. It's release date C. Save this, yes. Thank you. And we are going back into the game. Let's speed this up a bit. I let him dock. Bam. And then I'll just take a look at what he has. He has wool coat. This is not good. Alright, so I'm going to load this save file uh, with me recording that can take some time. Well, let's see how much time. Oh, it's not so much. So just let him dock again. Occasionally occasionally it's still the same but usually it's something else like this you know and I don't want food or anything I want seeds first uh, well actually I want sheep and the, the livestock first but I probably go for seeds as well at this point uh, because I'm so good in this game I don't really care with what I start you know <laughs> now anyway <coughs> Well, I can speed this up <laughs> for you until I get the sheep, um, so that you don't have to to, to watch uh, me loading and loading and loading and loading uh, uh, many times until I finally get the sheep. 
Ch chicken and squash seeds. Ah, yeah. Well, so that's a way, you know, that you can avoid ordering. Because if you now order squash seeds, seeds are the most valuable um, trading items. It's always cost you uh, two thousand five hundred. All right, and um, with six hundred twenty-five um, firewood, you can purchase um, this, these squash seeds. All right, but um, if you order a seed, it's only the costs go up twenty-five percent. So you have to pay three thousand one hundred twenty-five, um, and this is a lot more, you know, and. Uh, when you do it this way, um, it, it makes it way easier. And, you know, that some people might consider that cheating, but <laughs> come on, this is what you can almost in every game do. You know, load, save, load, save, load. This is, and you just do it until you have all the seeds. You get them eventually, and um, why not doing it this way? My opinion. But there are other things about the trading um, that you might not know, and I come to that when um, when I or I explain that when I come to the point where I I'm actually doing it. So I'll explain it. Um, okay. up mm, no wah, wah, wah. that's my brain currently wah, wah, wah. The first livestock I get is chicken. Chicken, I uh, seriously, you want sheep. Period. Sheep. Because somehow this game is has a messed up economy. Um, I can explain that later as well. Maybe <laughs> while I'm doing this, might be a good idea to explain that right now while I'm loading it, so you have something to listen to. And maybe you get something out of it, or maybe you go like, "You have, you have no idea. You don't know what you're saying. You're stupid." I don't know. Um, well, if there are three um, different coats that you can produce, all right. Uh, there are high coat. It's made out of leather, and there's wool coat. It's made out of, obviously, wool. Um, and oh, sheep! There we go. Ah! I started to explain that shit, and now I get the sheep. So, um, sheep costs you. I can get four sheep. I guess. So, oh yeah. First thing, <laughs> if you can quite afford it. All right. Um, you just pin this in one quarter, uh, in one corner, quarter. I wanted to say quarter. I don't know why. Um, you pin it in one corner of your screen, and as long as you have one, I, I don't know if if you do have to select one. Um, 
or if you just have to pin it somewhere, this, this window. As long as you pin this window in one corner in the middle of wherever you like it, this merchant is not going to leave, alright? So you can actually have him stay as long as you need to get the stuff together that you want to trade with. Alright? So I want <coughs> as much firewood into my um, six times six, three thousand six hundred divided by four because firewood is, has a value of four. It would be nine hundred, right? Nine hundred firewood. I need nine hundred firewood to get this these six sheep. Am I right? Oh, let's take a calculator. <laughs> six hundred times six, yeah, three six, uh, uh, three six hundred divided by four, nine hundred, yeah. All right. Um, hmm, sorry for that. Um, I didn't trust my brains. I never do that. I always check in.